Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I also want to speak in support of Dr. Davis's amendment. We talk about how, what an important issue this is, and I think we have a, a answer right here um, by making sure that we reinstate the adoption tax credit um, and also um, things like the exclusion for employer-related dependent care. Um, it, in the amendment that we saw yesterday from the chairman, it just goes back in for five years. So um, let's let's actually really help families as opposed to play budget gimmicks, which is kind of what was done yesterday. Um, I also have been hearing from, from my constituents about um, their concerns about the adoption tax credit going away um, and wanted to read a, what I heard from one of my constituents, Tiffany from Lake Stevens. She said, we use the adoption tax credit and it greatly helped our family financially recover the of adopting Dave her son. Um, during the adoption process, there were many unexpected costs that came up, and we had to take time off of work, which resulted in loss of income. The tax credit covered a fraction of the costs associated with adopting, but without it, we would be operating our household from a financial deficit. There are many other families in the same situation. If there wasn't a tax credit available, I know it would prevent other families that I've connected with from being able to adopt again in the future. So there is a direct story about how important this is, and I appreciate that um, folks have brought up how important this is, but we actually need to do something. It's terrible that this was removed in the first place when we talk about um, really trying to do what we can to support middle-class families. Um, this amendment would help resolve that, and I urge people to support it. I yield back.